Hey everybody, it's Shrewboy3 and 3 and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. In the last episode, we made it back here to San Verdano for Keith's wedding to whom he is getting married to someone. We don't even know who they are yet, but I believe we were just about to go to sleep. Oh, have we gone into another dream? Right, what's happening? So yeah, well, like, before it gets into too much, we made it back to San Verdano and... Well, for Keith's wedding, like I said, and we are staying in Casey's house, who we use, who is Keith's father, and I don't know whose room we're staying in, but at any rate, it appears we're in another flashback slash dream. It's all wrong still. I can't get it right, and I'm running out of time. What the hell is wrong with me? It shouldn't be this difficult. Sad face. Confused face. What's the matter? Are you alright? Don't let my grumbling get to you. I'm just frustrated. Come on, maybe you can give this a read and tell me what's wrong with it. All of the things. The game. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm sorry, Matthew. I think it's time we had a talk. Uh, what's the matter? Did I do something wrong? Whatever it is, I can fix it. Apparently not. No, I don't think you can. Not until you finish that stupid book of yours, at least. It's like you don't even see me anymore and your head's always in that damn type. He's using a fucking typewriter. Really? Why wouldn't you use a bloody computer? Oh, of all the things that pisses me off, it's a typewriter. I'm sorry I don't mean to be <laughs> neglectful. It's just, you know how important this is to me and what it means if I can pull it off. I'll make it up to you when it's all over and I promise you that. Nope, not singing. But when is it really ever over, Matthew? Do I finally get you back after you place that last word? Or is it when you finally make the money you're chasing so hard? What about when you start your next one? What happens to me then, not then? Hmm, may need to update that, people. I can't keep waiting around for you to open your eyes and see past this obsession. Is making life pass you by? Oh, and see this obsession, right. I don't mean to be so focused on this. You know how much it means to me. I'm just terrified that if I don't give it my everything, I'll wind up a failure. The real failure should have been when... Uh, let me start that again. The real failure will come when you find out that it should have been me you give your everything to. I'm sorry, but I can't, can't be second to your work anymore. I love you and I gave you all I've got, and that's all I wanted from you. But now we've got to say goodbye because your passion was never really with me. So, this is it, huh? After all we've been through together... After all we'd become, it just ends here, like this. You're a real piece of work, Keith. You... I can't even talk. Say something, damn it. What's left to say but goodbye? Well, at least take the, take the damn typewriter with you, you stupid person. God damn you, people are stupid. Right, it's day 25 and I'm not dead yet. We're doing good. Right. Hooray, achievement unlocked alone. <sighs> if it were only, j if it were just a dream. Oh, if only it were just a dream. Right. Right, I'm going to start saving in a bunch of different save files now. So I don't, in case I do die. Um, right. Do I go snooping around? Can I eat food yet? Someone else's food, maybe? Hey, come out here. I'm out on the balcony. What? Keith? What? Is this... Th didn't this happen already? Matthew? What's going on? Yeah, how's it going? No, I mean, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I got this wedding invitation, so I came. Look, see? I don't know how to tell you this, 
You weren't invited, so I don't know how you got this. Wait, what? I just spent the last month breaking my- What do you mean I wasn't invited? Look, I thought about you inviting you at one point then, but, you know, I just didn't want to give you the wrong idea or anything, so I took you off the invite list. Didn't want you to think I was having second thoughts about leaving you, plus, I mean, how awkward would that be for you? Sitting in the pews watching me marry someone else? You've got to be kidding me, right? After all I went through getting here, really? <sighs> Fine, whatever. I'll get out of here if you don't want me to be here. Sorry to bother you and everything. Oh, Matthew. Feel It seems weird saying your own name like this. I want to know one thing. Something doesn't add up. If you removed me from the invite list, how the hell did I get that invitation? I invited him. How's it going, Matthew? Don't- is this Sam? Wait, what? You added people to the guest list without telling me? Not people, person. I couldn't get married without my best friend present. Oh, okay, so that's what happened in everything. It's uh, good to see you too, Sam. <laughs> so the creepy stalker finally married the guy he wanted in the end. Or, well, engaged at least. I don't know if they are going to get married or not yet. Can't believe you'd do this to me and I explicitly told you that, Matt, that I wasn't to come. Oh, come on now. We're all adults here, aren't we? I'm sorry, but it had to be done. And it wouldn't feel right without Matthew there. Doesn't feel right saying my own name in the context of the game. Well, fine, whatever. It's not like I can ask you to go back home now or anything. I mean, you came all this way and I guess if Sam invited you. I'm glad you're here, Matthew. I've got to go and I'll see you later, alright? Matthew's your responsibility now, you got that? Yes, dear. So, I wonder what happens if you go for a normal straight couple. Is it just a man and a woman getting married, or...? Don't know. It's good to see you, it really is. Yeah, I guess it's good to see you too. Come on, why don't we head inside and get some breakfast? I'll meet you downstairs. Lay what? Can I move yet? Oh good, I can. Right, you all saw the way that he was moving at, and you can see that, you can tell that I walk faster than the NPC, sorry about that. So I would have gotten here before him. Oh, why didn't I just go and raid the house? It's pancakes and sausages. Well, I can't eat sausages, they always make me feel sick. Probably not the mess, mess, best meal to eat before a fitting, but what are you gonna do? Fitting? I'm supposed to get- I'm supposed to be getting my wedding suit fitted, but I haven't even picked a style yet. Aren't you cutting it a little close to that sort of decision? Yeah, but you know me. I'm terrible at making decisions. I always freeze up and need you to do it for me. Oh, I'm not- oh no, I don't have to get it for him, oh god. Well, I'm gonna fuck up his wedding as well. That's a good way of solving this. I'll let you pick. You want me to pick your wedding suit for you? Yeah, just hold on a second. Here, take a look at this. They're not cheap, but damn do they look good. Jesus, you're right, these are pricey. Which is why I need your help. I don't want to blow all this money and wind up looking... You pick one and I'll go with it, then I don't have to think about it anymore. You really want me to pick? Yeah, of course, I trust you. Well, if you really want me to pick... Um... Go with the black one, Everyone, that's just a generic one. I think the black one's best for you. Keep it classy, keep it traditional. It's a little by the book, but it's a good fit for you. You really think I should go with the black, huh? You better not show up matching me or I'm going to be pissed. Well, in that case, go for it. I think it'll look great. Thanks, Matthew. This is going to be awesome. I've never had custom clothes before. 
I think I'm gonna wear it during the entire trip. Trip? You should definitely come with us. Uh, excuse me? Tonight, we're going to fly out to the spinning coin in Las Vegas. We've got some rooms booked already and everything. It's gonna be one hell of a bachelor party. Bachelor party, hmm? We're going all out and it's gonna be a blast. Shows, gambling, and getting pissed drunk. You have to come, I absolutely insist. You know, that does sound like a good time, but I'm pretty broke right now. I took buses to get here, I don't think I've got cash for a flight. Oh, don't worry about that, I'll cover the expense, so don't sweat it. How the hell can you afford that? Oh, my publishers agreed to f f foot the bill of the entire party. Apparently they're friends with the casino manager or something, they got a good deal. Whatever's the case, it's all been taken care of, so there's no reason not to come. Did you say publisher? You got a deal? Yeah, I did. I mean, we signed just a little while ago, so it's sinking in. Holy shit, though, the dream's finally coming true, I tell you. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to. Look, just come with us, and I promise you'll have such a good time, you'll forget about everything. I mean, it'll just be like old times with you and me tearing it up. It wouldn't feel right without you there. I need you there. We did always talking about to going, going to Las Vegas one day. I just never figured it because you and Keith were getting married. Oh, come on. Don't even think about that. This is just for you and me. I've missed you. Do you really want me to come to your bachelor party, huh? Alright, I'll come. I mean, how many times am I going to get an all-expenses-paid trip to Las Vegas? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is going to be the best. Just you wait. The limo will here, be here tonight to take us to the airport, so be ready to go after dinner. A limo? <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Crap, that's my ride for the fitting. We'll catch up tonight on our way to the airport, alright? Now I really gotta go see you. So what am I supposed to do? I'm still starving. And apparently can't eat anymore. I've lost all ability to use food. Um. Right, again, save it. Manic saving time. Fridge, is there anything in inside of you? Um. I have legitimately no idea what I'm meant to do at this point. Right, I'm gonna see if I can, you know, steal anything. And by steal, I mean steal. Well done, brain. Good for think. Good for you for thinking. It sleep. It's it's only the evening. It's not night time yet. Seriously. Fine, I'll go to sleep. I wonder if I can go in any of the other rooms yet, or if I ever can go in any of the rooms. I don't know. And something I've noticed, whenever I've given the voices... Oh god, oh right, Casey? Oh, uh, I'm sorry Matthew, did I start... Did that say Sartle? I can't tell, I skipped over it too quickly, but I think that may have said Sartle. Instead of Startle. <laughs> no, I just didn't expect you to be in here. Well, I popped in to make up the room. Can't let it get too messy, you know. That's great, but why are you reading my journal? Journal? Oh. I assumed it was a manuscript you'd been working on all this time. You'd never bother to share any of it with me, so I thought I'd take a look. How was my private journal? Well, I figured that out now, obviously. Those pages weren't supposed to be read by anyone. Well, it's a little late for that now, I suppose. Once I started going through it, I couldn't stop. <laughs> Oh, that's completely immoral. Look who's talking. Excuse me. Where do I begin? Flipping through it seems spotless record. Are you judging me? Oh, that's not my duty. I do have consid questions considering you've come all this way just for my son's wedding. What is your intent exactly? What do you hope to gain out of this? Why did I come here? I got an invite, so I came to give my support. Are you sure that's the only reason? You find it suspect? Well, considering what I've read, it seems you went through a lot to get here. 
Most people would have given up or turned back unless they had a stronger reason. Not that I'm implying anything here, but there's got to be more than to the, this to the picture. I don't really care why you're here. Keith's an adult and he doesn't need me watching over him. I just hope he understand. you understand he needs someone that is going to make him happy. Maybe that's you, maybe it's not, but that isn't for me to say. It's a decision he needs to make alone, and maybe it's one that's already been made. What I mean is, there's some stuff in here I'm sure you're not proud of. Like this, for example. Your friend Dark F sounds like he's, he'd been trying to quit heroin. Then there was some left around and you didn't get rid of it for him? That doesn't sound like you were looking out for a friend to me. I thought I did get rid of the heroin. Do you think it would have been better to keep it from him? Should I have hid the drugs from him? Yeah, I regret not hiding the drugs. I mean, I know he could have gotten into it from anywhere. It just didn't have to be then and there, I suppose. Whatever's the case, I really, truly regret him finding it. You mentioned taking a job at the coat check. I never took you for a petty thief. Well, it was only $11. Calm down. I suppose I didn't need to, and I'm not particularly proud of it. Oh my god. Oh no, it's going to be about the dead man. Real what you were told to, being a pawn like that. Well, it was a job and I needed money. Yeah, but I wasn't the most e ethical person either. I took the job for the money, not to save the world. Maybe I shouldn't have, but that's just the situation I was in. Hmm, I can see what you're saying. I read in here that a man you interviewed for the paper, he killed himself? Yeah, it was terrible. What I want to know is whether you could, whether or not you think you could have helped him. Do you feel responsible for his death? Am I... Well, I spoke to him and... Absolutely not. He was on the brink already and I had no part in pushing him over the edge. You can't save someone who wants to die, you can't pull them back from the brink. But what can you say about- oh my god. Two smashed up his car. Do you feel- no, 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 no. was it right? No, probably not. It wasn't right at all. What else were we going to do? Just die? I wish we didn't have to step outside the law to keep alive, but that's the way things are sometimes. Sure, there's more to this story though, isn't there? Larry set you up with a job at the warehouse, but you mentioned a strike going on. Had you not taken it, it's safe to say that, that the union would have had to listen to the protesters. Was it worth undermining the strike for the... No, 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 it wasn't. I needed the cash, but they were fighting for their livelihood. Got in real close with their opposition and it never felt right. That's good enough for you. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, yes. Oh god. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little sorry but I had my reasons. I wish I could say it was all okay because of the corruption but I can't. If I try justifying my actions I'm no better than the thieves. Oh will you stop? Oh god. Can't, well, eh, children annoy me. But yeah, I really do regret it. It's gonna haunt me till I die. Well, they're not real children, so I don't feel as bad. Well, like I said earlier, Keith can make his own decisions. In a roundabout way, I'm thinking if you think a person like you deserves him. I mean, you've done all these things and maybe you feel fine about some of them. Are you really worth someone like Keith? I don't know. I think that's... I don't think that's for me to decide. Only he can decide whether I'm worthy or not. Whether I believe, it doesn't matter if, since he's the one who decides. Hmm, it's hard to argue with you. Again, I'm sorry for your journal. Why don't you go ahead and get ready yourself? Sam should be here soon. The airport's not too far, but you want to be ready. Yeah, I'll be downstairs in a bit then. Well, at least there's no need for stamina anymore, it seems. Right, so I'm going to save it, and after that ordeal, I'm going to leave it here. 
So I will see you guys next time on Always Sometimes Monsters. Bye bye. <laughs>